Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. What's the good word, guys? Matt here, country song teacher. Hope you're doing well. If you're ready for a big week, excited for Thanksgiving. Before the video even starts, let's go ahead and smash that like button, make it turn black. I always say make it turn blue. Somebody just informed me, Matt, it turns black. So make it turn black. What I'm going to do on this video real quick, I get a lot of, a lot of comments, that kind of thing, messages about two things. One, my B minor. No, glad I didn't know. Way it all would end. Right there. Way it all would go. And then we're also going to talk about that D chord. The D chord trick you see me do all the time in videos. So first, let's discuss this is B minor. If you can play the B minor the regular way, you bar, you take your first finger, you bar that first fret, then you play the second string with your middle finger, and the fourth and third with your ring finger, pinky finger. But if you're like me, I still struggle with bar chords. So the hack you see me do all the time is learn, is learn the A minor chord, which is second, fourth, and third. And you're gonna slide up two frets. So you're playing, you're gonna play the bottom four strings. So this, this, the bottom strings gonna sound a little different because you're not barring. But it's just it's just a half a step off because you wouldn't be having this pressed, but you're doing an A minor without that press. So it's just a half a step off. It's gonna sound just as good. So you're playing the third and fourth fret in the A minor. So again, on like, <coughs> excuse me, I'm still getting over my cold. On, on Garth Brooks, the C at night, and I, I'm glad I didn't de know the way it all would be minor end. Jason Aldean, a lot of Jason Aldean songs use that B minor. So if you can do the bar chord, knock yourself out, you the man. Um, all that I said this, I said this way. I meant second fret. That, yeah, that's the, that's the bar chord. So I was off uh, off myself there. But just use the A minor, second, fourth, and third. Slid up to the third and fourth fret. It's gonna be faster if you go to. So a lot of times, like I said, in Jason Aldean songs, it's going to use the D, A, B minor, G. So in the key of A, it's G, A, B minor, and D. So that's a lot of times songs you're going to play together. So make sure you work on that transition to that um, B minor version from A, D, and um, G, A, and D. Now, as far as, I talked about this yesterday. If you saw my video on my other channel, Acoustic Selection, I talked about this. Um, let's see. Um, each breath in my lungs So we pour out our brains Pour out our brains It's your breath in our lungs So we pour out our brains That's a song called Great Are You Lord. And what you saw me do it is moving around while I'm playing that D chord. So many times if you look up a song online, that kind of thing, you're going to see that D chord over, over a word or whatever. You want to get where you can, instead of just sitting on that D chord, you want to get where you can... play different versions. So it kind of adds what's called musical dimension, spices up a little bit. I know you've heard the song Free Falling, just... That, that, all that's doing is playing a regular D chord, which is third and bottom string of the first fret, second string and third fret. And then putting that pinky down on that third fret, squeezing it in there beside that ring finger. Off, and then A. D, pinky, off, D, C. Pinky, off, A. That's, that's two versions that you see me do all the time. It's just adding a pinky on, pinky off. The other thing you want to get what you're doing is, you know, with my first four chords, you'll see me lock in the two bottom strings. 
So for example, on Travis Tritt, you would go two G's, two C's, four D's. So for example, What I was doing there, when I went like these, I was hammering on, I was keeping those two locked, but hammering on that third string. One of these days I'm gonna break this chain. See, I'm, instead of just staying up, let's see. One of, one of these days I'm gonna break these chains. So if you just play the same chord over and over, it's gonna sound fine, but it adds a little spice to it. So, when you get to a song and you have a D chord, which most of mine do, sometimes play a regular D, again, which is third and bottom string and second string. So it's the third and bottom and the second fret, second string of the third fret. We're gonna take that middle finger off that bottom string. Remember, you can't, if, you, if you're playing my regular D with that pinky down, if you take your middle finger on and off, it's not gonna make a difference because the strings are muted from here on up. So you gotta be playing a regular D when you do this. So that's a great exercise to work on. You're gonna play a D, then the, then the D middle finger off, and then hammer on the third string. Four versions, with the pinky on, regular, middle finger off, and, and hammer on that third fret. That's what you want to work on. To it, I'm going into that C. It's a little bonus pitch for you. I'm going into that C. I'm first strumming it without that first finger on that fifth fret. I mean, uh, fifth string, second fret. Now, up, strum, stop, and then same thing with the G. I'm strumming it, then add that first finger. So. Guys, as your little practice, the B minor and the D chord versions, good times. Be sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Like I said before, 20% of y'all watching my videos have subscribed. Come on, guys. Help a boy out here. We got Christmas coming up. I got three, three little boys to buy some presents for. You gotta subscribe, right? Check out the website, guys, countrysongteacher.com. I'm working on getting me a little in-home studio set up here. I'm trying to get my little neon lights down here my guitars. I'm trying to figure out me a setup. Um, I'm going to get it all figured up here. Eventually, this is at the corner of my office, so we, we'll be sprucing this up in the meantime. But check, like I said, check out the website, countrysongteacher.com. After you smash the like button, I got my four-chord songbook. That's uh, two versions at 40 songs. And they just use GCE minor D. Even just released a worship four-chord songbook. Got beginner DVDs for Christmas presents, all that good stuff, so be sure to check it out. And I'll dance at your next wedding. Let's go Hokies. Holla.